all starts when you when you're sampling. It all it all starts and ends when you do this. My birth name is Patrick Denard Dalvin, but I came up with the moniker Ninth Wonder in 1998. I am a music producer. I am a professor at three universities, basketball enthusiast. I am a culture keeper. I, I am a Jedi. There are spaces in between great producers that we know that you can find a space that can be called yours. It takes some time, but it, you have to study music all the time to understand where those spaces are. Samples and sounds, that's what separates one producer to the next, how they hear the record. There's nothing technically you can do to change that aspect. That is a divine moment when you listen to a sample and then take it and turn it into something else. Or turn it into something that sounds like you, because I'm still believing sticking to my sound regardless of what. I think when people run away from the sound, then other people come and pick it up, and then you're like, damn. I wasn't a big breakbeat user at first, but now I am, and, and Machine has helped me do that. You know, as far as the Machine, you know, components that I use the most, the EQs, the compressors. Earlier, you know, when you made beats on, on hardware that, you know, it had to leave your box to put in a board to mix. Now we can get it exactly how we want it sitting right here. How I got it here, do not mess with the beat how I have it. One time we were at a restaurant in Richmond, Virginia, and we're all sitting down eating, and a song comes on like the restaurant speaker that I never heard of. And so I shazammed it. And just, just so happens I had my computer with me and my machine. So I got in the back seat and I made the beat in the back seat coming down I-95 of a song I heard in a restaurant. The song was so dope to me and the sample so dope, I didn't want to wait till I got to wherever I was going to chop this record up. I could not wait. So I chopped it in the back seat of a car. Rappers made me. Jay-Z made me. He said my name on the track, right? After that was De La Soul and Memphis Bleak and a kid by LA by the name of Merce and Destiny's Child and Jean Grey and Buckshot. All that happened within a two-year span, right? But then it got to the point in my career that I started to make rappers. That's when the Kendrick Lamars came and that's when the Anderson Packs came and with the joint I did with G-Eazy, Lil B the bass guy, like it became all of these records that, you know, now I got kids coming to me and say, man, my life ain't complete until I rap officially on one of your joints. I went by Kendrick's, you know, studio one night and played it for him. He was like, yeah, that's, that's, what's that? And I'm like, that's, that's, you want it? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So it's three beats in a, in a duck word. It's um, a group called September. It's a Yugoslavian prog rock group. So the third group is um, is Hiatus Coyote. Not only did I have the albums, they gave me the stems to the albums too. I have a ritual. I won't say a ritual, but I have a thing of, it's so weird. I have a thing of, to get comfortable in my studio space. And my, everybody will tell you that I walk around in the studio with one shoe on and one shoe off. It's the weirdest thing, but I feel comfortable. And it's always my right shoe, I take it off and my left one on and they, you know, after a while, when I first started there, everybody was like, what, you, what is wrong with you? Like, you know what I mean? But, but now when I take my one shoe out, they're like, ah, oh, he ready to work. At Duke, I teach a class called Hip Hop Production. 
I would say the pivot into academia changed me in my life because education and teaching taught me objectivity. And it taught me to look at things from all angles and to understand that even if I know a lot of things, I can learn something from this 18 year old. You know, the, the similarities between music and basketball is the fact that, you know, one, there's technique, there's, there's an art to it, there's a practice, 10,000 hours to shoot jumpers, 1,000 jumpers a day is the same equivalent as me making 10 beats a day and over and over and over and over and over. You gotta train your ear, you have to train your, your legs. I think the most important thing that hip hop teaches us is the power of music and the power of language goes beyond creed, race, color, gender, nationality, ethnicity, whatever. But it actually extends prior to hip hop though, it's just the power of message. There are certain messages that have been passed down to, from the beginning of time. It's just that we chose to put music behind it.